Scenes like this often appear in movies. The hero is escaping, and just as the bridge is destroyed at the other end, he somehow manages to leap onto the remaining piece at the last second and survives. But is this really possible in reality? To uncover the truth, Adam first builds a small bridge to conduct a scaled-down test. The cylinder represents the hero. After one section of the bridge is cut, the cylinder is controlled by a timer to jump at the precise moment. The test begins with a 50 millisecond delay between the bridge cutting and the cylinder's jump. Here's the normal height the cylinder can jump. If the bridge is destroyed during the test and the cylinder can still jump to the same height, it would suggest that the movie scene isn't entirely fictional. Once everything is set up, Adam presses the switch and the equipment works as expected. But to the naked eye, there's nothing suspicious. However, in slow motion, it's clear that a 50 millisecond delay does allow the cylinder to jump, but only to half its normal height. Next, a 100 millisecond delay is tested. This time, the jump is visibly much lower. The actual height of the jump is only a quarter of the normal height. Then, when the delay is set to 150 milliseconds, the cylinder can't even jump at all. It falls with the bridge. But looking back at the movie scene, Jimmy suggests that the hero isn't jumping upward, but forward. So, they adjust the angle and test three more times. The results are indeed better than jumping straight up. Even with a 150 millisecond delay, the cylinder barely makes it to the safe zone. So now, they are preparing to conduct a real-life test. 